Hey guys, Hu Shang here. Welcome to another StarCraft 2 lesson. In today's guide, we're going to be taking a look at my Terran hotkeys. And if you're new to the channel, I'm a Grandmaster with all three races. So these, these aren't going to be complete shit. So let's open this up. And I'm actually going to show you guys a Photoshop picture in a sec as well, so you guys can visualize it. But first, I just wanted to go into here and just show you guys my camera locations are F1 through F8. And then you can jump to them from F1, F8 as well. So pretty basic there. Obviously, the original is Control plus F5. So you want to shift those over. Five is a little bit too far for your first couple keys. And yeah, let me change this over to Photoshop. So here I have uh, just a picture of a keyboard, just some generic keyboard. And so these are my control groups. So normally they're of course from one through zero. And what I've done here is I've switched eight, nine, and zero over to tilde tab Q. And if you wanna do this, I guess I'll be jumping back and forth between StarCraft and that often. But if you wanna change those, what you can do is come over to control groups and you can change 890. You can change any of them you want, but 890 are the farthest ones. And so you can just change this to control plus. Let's say you want to use a Q. You can just change this to control plus Q. I'm not sure why I had two there. You don't need these actually. So you can just have it as control plus Q, control plus tab, control plus tilde. And then just make sure that you set Q for every single one that has eight. So control plus Q for creating them. Just Q for selecting. Shift plus Q. Again, I don't know why I have double. Shift plus Q for adding to control group eight. Alt plus Q for create control group eight and take away units. And then this one should be Alt Shift Q. Or, sorry, this one should be a different one. So, Alt Shift Q for um, Control Group 8 again. So, if you want to, if you want to change these, then um, you can go through this and just switch it for all of them. Let's go back to Photoshop. So, that's how I switch those over. And my basic setup for Terran is to have my Vikings and Liberators on the tilde key. And I also kind of do this with Protoss, is that's basically my heavy micro key that doesn't have a spellcaster. <clears throat> so if I'm using, you know, Bio Ghost, then I can micro those keys, Ghost will be spellcasters, but I need the Liberators or the Vikings on this key so that I can micro them during the battle. You know, I might have to shift target Colossus with Vikings, um, and I want them doing that separately compared to the Bio. If you have it on the same control group, then what happens is, as soon as you move your bio back to get away from you know the storms and the colossus, then the uh, Vikings will also stop shooting. So that becomes a big, pretty big problem. Uh, and same thing with liberators. You might want to siege these separately from other units. If you have to wait till they siege before you can move your bio, well, then there's obviously a big delay there where you can get hit by disruptors or um, again storms and, and uh, colossus. <clears throat> so you definitely want to have these on their own key if you can manage it. And if you can't manage it, I would just say don't use these units, or at least don't use liberators. Maybe you can get away with just A moving and, and using a ghost or something, but if you're using liberators, then you need them on their own key, and if you can't do that, then just don't have them, or don't use them at all. Okay, and then my command center is on one, and my barracks is on two, factories three, starports four, so basically all my production is one through four, and I would definitely not recommend this. <laughs> This is this is one of those habits I carried over from uh, you know when I first started playing StarCraft and I thought well I thought rightly that macro was the most important and so therefore I should put these buildings on one through four or I guess one through five um, and that wasn't a bad idea but it's just like once you actually get to a decent level maybe masters I would say masters plus then it starts to become a pretty reasonably big problem because it's harder to micro your units um, in the later control groups. So if I had to redo this, what I would do is change these buildings to be much farther 
on my keyboard. <clears throat> maybe at least command centers on four or uh, command centers on five, maybe one of those. And then um, subsequently the barracks to go in the next number, factories next number, etc. Um, and then we get the upgrades are on five. So yeah, I mean, you can basically just move all these over. Let's see, I would use maybe um, four through eight could be perfect. And then the next thing I have is army on six. I'm actually really used to this, so I'm not going to change it. But um, I would switch this over to maybe one if I could rechange it. And yeah, there's uh, there's not too much to this this control group configuration. I don't think it's just uh, you know these keys six and seven tilt the tab Q are my uh, army control groups, and then everything in the middle one through five is my uh, production. So I don't think there's anything I want to say here exactly. Um, but you definitely should have a lot of keys. If you if you're, you know you're using one key right now, like if you're using F2 all army, then uh, first of all, get rid of that key because that key is totally useless um, unless you're doing like a parade push or something. Uh, so you, you really don't need that key. You can just click on it on the mini map if you really need it, which is extremely rare in my opinion. Um, so yeah, get rid of that key. And then if you're only using one army control group, what you can do is just add one more. And probably the first one I would add is the spellcaster key. So if you have your ghost all in the same key right now, definitely try putting your ghost on a different key. And, and then just play with two for a while. And then once you get comfortable with two, add a third one, add a fourth one, etc. As you get comfortable. There's no need to do them all at once. It's a little bit overkill. So just continue to make yourself a little bit uncomfortable, but you know, not too uncomfortable. Okay, I think that's everything. So let's get rid of this and let's look at um, factory first so I put my factory on three and the concepts pretty straightforward you can do this for any other key as well whatever you're using but the way I set it up is that if I put my ring finger is it the ring finger the, the longest one the middle one if I put my middle finger on uh, three then it's very easy for me to use my pointer finger to click on these keys because they're not too far and they're also not behind the three like if it was three q i don't think i could do it the way i want to do it i'd have to use um i think the ring one's the the left one from the middle right okay so i'd have to use the ring for q and then my pointer for three um so i guess you could do it that way but for me i'm just always using the middle finger for three and then pointer finger for any other key and that way it's a little quicker if you're using the same key for you know, selecting your control group and then clicking a unit, then stop that immediately because <laughs> that's uh, super, super slow. I mean, unless you're doing 3E, maybe, but even then it's going to be slower. So you definitely want to break that habit and start using um, two fingers at the same time. Okay, and then, yeah, I, I mean, we could go through these, I guess, but you could just take a quick look if you want. Also, I guess this is a good time to mention I'll put my whole hotkey setup that you can just download on my website it'll be in the same place as the um what did i put up there the build order for the dt drop but i fixed it so it's not super obnoxious to download it's just gonna be like two clicks or something so uh yeah go there and, and download it if you want it and let's go over to my starport it's basically the same idea the only one that's kind of oh, that i don't like is um, E because again I'm going backwards a little bit so it's kind of obnoxious but um, it's Hellions or wait I think I have three as well on factory yeah so I mean it's it's a uh, Banshee I guess I don't make Banshee too much it's it, it doesn't bother me uh, at all but yeah maybe this one's a little bit worse I can't put it on T which would be better because T is my lift key which I switched from L which is the worst, <laughs> the, the, probably the worst key in all the races. Maybe, maybe patrol actually. The anything on this side of the keyboard is terrible. So if you have uh, mothership, I guess you wouldn't have mothership if you're Terran. If you have um, lift, or if you have patrol, or what are some keys for Terran as well? Those might be the only ones actually. Maybe there's an I or something. Definitely, if you have any keys over here, just switch them over to keys on this side of the keyboard. It's way more practical. And the last thing I have is the upgrades. And so this one actually kind of breaks my rule, I guess. But I, I do this one differently. 
whenever I make my upgrades, I try to hit the upgrade keys at the same time, <clears throat> not um, not the control group and one uh, unit like I was before, because you're usually starting upgrades together. Like you're usually going one one. So if I did it like I did before, I'd have to use three fingers. So what I do for upgrades is I hit five with my pointer finger and then I use my uh, middle finger and pointer finger for whichever set of upgrades I'm getting. So E is attack upgrades, R is uh, armor upgrades for both my armory and my eBay. They're exactly the same. And so if I'm going one, one, then I'll go um, ER. And then if I'm using the armories for air upgrades later in the game and I maybe I'm maybe going like um, armor and air upgrades, then I'll go like RF. So they're both really, really nice to uh, to hit quickly. And let's see, is there anything else? I think that's it for the keyboard. That's pretty crazy. I already mentioned that T is um, lift. I have space bar as the next uh, subgroup, which is normally tab, I believe. So if you want to switch to, um, you know, your ghost or no, no. If you want to switch from your ghost to stim, if you have everything on the same group, then I'm using tab which is really, really uh, nice. Obviously, uh, spacebar is like the, the best key on your whole keyboard, so you want to make sure this is something important. And yeah, I think next subgroup is a really, really good option for this key. And of course, I have tab as a control group, so I can't use that. But I think tab is fine for next subgroup as well. I just think this is even better. And let's see. Anything else on here? I do want to mention my mouse because my, my mouse is set up way different than everybody else's. I actually do not use control or shift on my keyboard at all. I have control and shift on my mouse on the left side. So I use, um, well, it doesn't matter what mouse you use. As long as it's a gaming mouse, there should be keys on the left side, two buttons. So I'm using a Razer mouse and one of them is control and one of them is shift. And this is way better for control grouping. The only downside is you have to get used to microing with uh, these keys and it does make your mouse accuracy a little bit worse in that situation where you have to Click the button and click a unit like if you want to click all your Colossus you'd have to use um, That key on the side <clears throat> and so that would make your micro worse, but There's no reason not to just be able to use your mouse control in that situation So I, I don't see the disadvantage you could just switch between your mouse and the keyboard and that would be fine as well um, Let's go look at Starcraft not sure if there's any other keys. If I do miss something, just ask me in the um, comments section and I'll let you know. Or you can just download my, um, my hotkeys and take a look yourself. Uh, let's see. I did change my bunker. So bunker is normally U, which I think is just the worst. Like BU is pretty hard to press. So I changed it to BG, which is much, much easier. And this is usually something you have to get down super fast. So this is the one I was misclicking all the time. So I switched that over and I also switched something on here. I switched the planetary. So the planetary is normally P I believe, <laughs> which is just terrible. So make sure you switch this to something reasonable. It doesn't have to be F, but um, something reasonable. And let's see, I think that's it for this. I do want to show you guys rapid fire real quick. I should probably make a, a Terran video specifically on a rapid fire, but Rapid fire is basically a way that you can not left click every time you want to set up a liberator or left click every time you need to mule. And so the way you set this up in when I'll, I'll show you actually an example in a second so you can see how it works. But basically what you want to do is change this choose ability or AI target to a single key. So you click on here. You don't change the left mouse button. You need that. But you add an alternate and you set that to whatever key you want. The only consideration you need to make is that this key is not a, another ability like EMP or a um, building. So EMP I actually have changed. I guess I should show you, show you all my units as well. So, I, uh, so you can set this as a key, just make sure that there's no conflicts. Like even if it says there's no conflicts, make sure there's no building or ability being used by the same key. And then come over to your Terran hotkeys again and you want to set a couple things to this you want to have your mule where's the mule you want to have the mule to this key so for me it's e so mules are e and you also want to have liberator siege 
as E. You don't need the fighter mode, but you need the siege mode. So change that to E as well. I don't think there's any other keys that you would want as Terran. Maybe the cyclone lock on. I don't really use these too much, but that might be useful. Um, maybe Yamato as well, actually. Could be pretty good. And that should be it. Feedback, actually, could be pretty good as well. Or not, not feedback, what am I saying? Snipe. Put the snipe on uh, rapid fire, could be pretty good also. And speaking of, this is the only spellcaster I think I changed with Terran. So I have my EMPs in R, and the only reason I did this is because otherwise it would conflict with rapid fire. And I actually should probably... I think I usually have rapid fire as well on F, but you could change this to the same key as um, the Liberator Siege, and that would be good. Okay, and then, yeah, let's just go over to the arcade and I'll show you rapid fire real quick if you don't know what it does. <clears throat> and hopefully I covered all my keys. If not, again, you guys can just leave a message in the comments or you can um, download my hotkey and, and, and check it out. So here I'm just loading the LOTV unit test here. You may have seen me use this a couple times. It's actually a really, really nice tool if you want to see how some armies uh, engage each other or, um, or even just practice some micro. I just made some liberators and basically what rapid fire does is normally you have to hold down E and then also left click. And so this is a lot of clicks that you would have to do. So instead of doing that, I'll just unsiege these. Instead, we're just going to hold down E and then you're just going to wave your mouse around just like that. And so obviously this is uh, considerably more efficient. So if you don't have this and um, you know, you're trying to micro liberators, you know, and you're struggling to do both, then th that's probably why you're not using rapid fire. It's just such a huge advantage. You kind of need to use it. Um, there was a pro gamer that was doing this recently, clicking. I think it was Polt, and he was like playing against high GMs, trying to uh, click each liberator, taking like 20 seconds to set up his army. <laughs> it's just, uh, yeah, it's just such a big advantage. There's no reason you shouldn't have this set up anymore. Yeah, so. Okay, cool. Well, I think that's all my hotkeys, so hopefully this was helpful. And if you enjoyed it, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.